Thanks for coming out, man. Uh, let's just start this off by asking, you know, who you are, where you from, you know, just give people a little insight on about you and your music. My name is Justin Hagen, man. They call me Jay Hagen. I'm from the east side of Decatur, Alabama. Uh, raised in the suburbs slash projects, Point Mile slash East Acres projects, you feel me? Northwest side, stand up, sunset, northwest, all that, baby. Basically, man... <clears throat> I had it rough a little bit. I had it good, but I had it rough, man. Uh, my white grandparents raised me. They adopted me from my mama when she was 17. Uh, she, she was struggling. Uh, basically, man, they just tried to put me on the right path, and uh, I was on the right path for a certain amount of time, and basically, I ain't know my daddy. I ain't know I was black and white and all that extra shit, you know what I'm saying? Basically, man, they telling me I'm white, but basically, I'm black. Mama telling me this, telling me that, but... Come to find out, man, nigga hit 13 years old. I meet my daddy, my brother, my other little sister. You know what I'm saying? I got two mixed sisters. My baby sister, Kimberly Freeman, she passed away from cancer, RIP. Uh, basically, moved in with my moms at 13 in the projects and all over the Cater, Bucharest, Huntsville, Madison, whatever, and hit the streets, man. Saw, learned how to sell dope for my own mama, man. It's just, it's just that's simple. I mean, uh, rap shit, man. I've been writing poetry since shit since middle school just never really you know what i'm saying took it that far just something i like to do like a hobby uh hit the trap real hard getting the money trying to pay my mama's bills help my sister and my other sister and my mama i mean basically when i got locked up here recently this 17 months when i was locked up i just knew it was i had to take a different route the trap game was it's over with niggas telling and your own homeboys you feel me and so I took the route and jumped with this music shit and give, give y'all my past and I'm finna show y'all the future. Okay, okay. So tell me this. What made you want to start being a rapper? I mean, shit, we all know how that go. We grew up, like I said, I grew up in the trap. Everything I see, I want to talk about it. I mean, it's just, it was life. And then I'm sitting there watching Gucci Man and Jeezy growing up on watching N.W.A. and all this shit, just, just something I want to be a part of. You know what I mean? It, <clears throat> as far as selling dope, that shit get real old. It's, it's time to do something new. I mean, it's 2016. The dope game ain't the same. I mean, y'all can find that on, on My Time Is Now, man. Dope game. Y'all can hear that too. Okay. I see. So, coming up from the streets, what did you learn from it? Don't trust the soul. Your own family will turn their back on you. And I'm going to say it like this, not my mama, but I mean, I've had my own times, but your mama, your daddy, your brothers, your cousins, all that. Yeah, you can love them, but love them from afar. You feel me? <clears throat> when you start coming up, man, they want to talk about, ooh, he this, he that. He feel like he better than everybody. No, I'm just here to basically look out for Alabama, man. I mean, you can hate me or love me. I mean, talk about me. I know y'all going to do it anyway. That's just, it is what it is. I'm going to keep rocking. Okay. So... Who inspired you as an artist? That's a hard question. I mean, I'm lyrical. I'm a real lyrical artist, but I'm also a trap artist. So as far as inspired me as coming up, would have to be Gucci, man. I mean, I got, there's nothing else I can say. When the trap house hit, I was in the trap house. You feel me? Uh, other than that, Jeezy, which y'all know how that went. Uh, and NWA inspired me a lot, man. Like, Grew up on my culture. I mean, I'm half black. So by me being half black and white, seeing how white people live and seeing how black folks live, it's, it's, a, it's, uh, it's totally different. And when they came out with that, the NWA, niggas with attitude just showed me, showed me another rope. You feel me? And that's, that's really about it. Mm-hmm. So what are some of your recent projects that you have out right now? Uh, I dropped My Time Is Now. In May, after my birthday, it's on Spinrilla. You can go check it out. Um, now I'm working on mixed environments, man. Just trying to give y'all a peace of mind of how I am and how I grew up as far as in the suburbs and in the projects. I done slept on the floor with rats and roaches. I done slept on king-size beds and shit like that. I mean, I know how I feel not to have shit. I know how I feel to have shit. 
So I've just always been a grinder. I get it on my own, and, and niggas know what you can vouch for me. I mean, I ain't got to really say much, man. I done fed too many families out here and did too much. So as far as projects, mixed environments coming soon, man, to a street near you. So what are some of your favorite artists that you would like to work with? Got to say Gucci, man. I would like to work with Jeezy. I fuck with Chief Keef. Uh, and like I said, y'all know I'm half white. I fuck with Zach Farlow. Uh, Lil Johnny. Shout out to Lil Johnny, man. I see you doing your thing up there, man. Ohio, man. Shout out to Lil Johnny. Uh, let's see. Big Pope. I fuck with Pope. Down to my kids. Niggas down here doing their things, man. You know what I'm saying? That uh, other people ain't really looking out for. I mean... And, and don't forget my artists around here, man. Everybody artists doing their thing, bro. I can't really... I mean, we all got features and shit, but as far as that goes, man, to be honest, man, I want to do features with other people, but I'd rather get myself out there first. I'd rather y'all reach out to me. I'm not going to reach out to y'all. You feel me? So that's just me being honest and me being a man. I come up as an individual, as my as my own man. And it's, it's just that simple. I ain't going to ride no nigga dick. It is, it is what it is. What are some of the goals that you have as an upcoming artist? To put my mama in the biggest house ever, and my grandparents too, to where they ain't got to work no more, period. Um, I'm already obviously sitting pretty, I ain't bragging, ain't nothing to say, you know what I'm saying? But I've, I've worked my ass off for this shit, and, and people, people know this. Uh, I just want my family to be all right, my kids, man. Grace, Jackson, Jaden, I love y'all, man. Uh, I just want to. I just want to eat, man. That's it. I want everybody to eat. I want my kids to eat. I want my family to eat. All my homeboys. I mean, the niggas that still here riding with me. Y'all coming with me. And then all other niggas you might well fall on back with the other folk. It's just that simple. What is your outlook on the change of the rap game? You know, um, it's the new era of the mumble rap. You know, they got mumble rappers like Lil Uzi Vert and got your little Yachty's and. Things like that. Give us your intake on that. I mean, I got respect for all of them. I mean, if you're doing your thing and you're consistent, man, I can't hate you for it. I mean, obviously, they blowing up. They doing their thing. I mean, I can't be myself. I mean, if I can't understand you, I don't really want to hear you. I mean, that's just me. I mean, that's why I open my voice. When you hear me rap, you're going to understand every word I got to say. I mean, I got my own style. Everybody got their own style. That mumbo jumbo, it sells. I mean, it's funny, but it sells, man. Uh... I mean, I respect it, but uh, it's just different, man. It's 2016. A lot of shit done changed, bro. And like I said, I'm a, I consider myself as a trap artist, uh, not a rap artist. I mean, I've been in the trap all my life. That's what I consider. So what I speak on is what, is what I know. As far as that, mumbo jumbo, I listen to it. I respect it if I can understand you to an extent. And if it's jumping the beat, jumping in the lyrics, all right. Other than that, man, speak up. Let these folks hear you. So, do you think trap rap uh, came or, or more so evolved into a mumble rap of how it is today? Yeah. Uh, you know, rap. it's the new wave. Yeah, it's the new wave, man. Uh, trap rap been around when we was kids. We was listening to trap Gucci. That's a trap artist. That's a trap artist, man. Uh, even though he mumbo jumbo too every now and then, but everything he's spitting, we know he doing it. We know. I mean, we know. You feel me? As far as that, these niggas come jumping in the game, talking about this, that, and the other, and ain't seen shit. Ain't seen a brick. Ain't seen a chopper. Ain't seen a body. Ain't seen none of that shit. Ain't lost nobody. Don't really understand. They just talking to talk because they see what the other folks talking about, and I don't respect that. Like, I really don't. I mean, I do to an extent because that's, it's entertainment. That's what these folks want to hear. But at the same time, if I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to mean it. That's just, that's just me. Okay, so you shot Cinco. What made you want to shoot Cinco? You know, what inspired you to shoot it? Well, what inspired me to shoot Cinco is, man, I, I, to be honest, when I say five, I started off with $50. It wasn't five bricks. Let me just tell you that, man. Uh, I started off with 50 bucks, man, when it got up <laughs> in the jacks, you feel me? And, and at that time, I was on house arrest in these Stakers projects, you feel me? And a lot of niggas can vouch for me. Out there mobbing, Rick and Will, Crib jumping, you know, Fat Daddy, shout out to Fats, T3, all y'all niggas, Jockey's Bond, salute. Shit, we out there mobbing and start out with 50 bucks, man. We used to sell soap is drop. We used to do all that shit. Got her up, 
Um, basically, man, I, I plugged in with Amigo, started getting the powder for the low, which I can speak on it because I don't sell dope no more. And uh, started getting it in, learned how to scratch it, got the money. Plugged in with the marijuana, which is obviously I can talk about that too. And the Cinco, it just inspired me to talk about the past, man. The past is everything you hear in Cinco, I did it. You feel me? Every, it's, it's, it's just everything you hear me say, is it, it's not a story. It's real life stuff. Like I talk about my mama and everything. My mama will go get her. Shout out to Melanie. You feel me? She'll go get her. She put me on this shit. I mean, hated to love it. Y'all see me now? You feel me? And basically, man, Cinco just... If you watch the video, man, a lot of them niggas in the video, like my fat cousin Lamoy, shout out to El Capone, Elliot, Fred, all, uh, Dez, Dizzy Dez, you feel me? All them niggas grew up with these niggas, man. They know. They can vouch for me, too. We've been getting this money. It's just something I felt like I had to put out as a first video to let y'all know that I'm doing my thing. I really do this shit. And it's basically, that's it. Okay. Um, We know that uh, you coming off your case and, you know, you coming out the halfway house, you know, rapping, doing your thing and everything. What did your P.O.s think about the Cinco video that you shot? That's hilarious. Look, man, I'm going to tell y'all something. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all. I know a lot of y'all on papers and federal papers, state papers, all this, that, and other. These folks like to see us make it, man. I mean, it's it sounds like, ooh, I'm on some police shit, but... I ain't never witnessed no shit like that walking off in my PO's office and my PO telling me, son, you got a, you got the gift. You got the gift. I mean, she saw all the guns. She saw me smoking the blunt. Woo, woo, woo. Saw the Hensy. All that. Fact of the matter is, she gave me a second chance because she believed in me, just like everybody else do. I mean, I got federal PO's. I got state PO's. I mean, they literally nicknamed me Cinco. When I walked in there, they said Cinco here, and guess who popped up? All the P.O.s. I mean, they want me to keep grinding. I got to go to the halfway house today. What, Saturday, I got to go to the halfway house tomorrow at 6. I'll be there for like six months to a year. I'll be able to still do my thing studio-wise and video-wise because they have so much respect for me. Okay. Um, how do you feel about Trump being your next president? Man, fuck Trump. You feel me? Nigga ain't doing shit for me and nobody else around me. You feel me? Go back the way you from for me and Mick Free. You feel me? I mean, I'm going to have to drop it again, but it's going to be on mixed environments, man. You feel me? Fuck Donald Trump. He a chump, nigga. You already know I dump, nigga. Shit real out chill, man. All that, he been rich. What the fuck he going to do? Not a motherfucking thing for me? Should I been getting on my own? You better look around here. But look around at my niggas, look around who ride, man. We been doing this shit. This shit real out here, man. This ain't no fucking game. Trump on that woo 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 shit, nigga. We on that boo blue blue shit. That's what we do. You feel me? And that's all I got to say. Okay. Um, what are you working on for the future? Man, I'm working on a million, man. Point blank, period. I'm trying to feed my kids, my family, my surroundings, and my surrounding niggas. You feel me? It's just, just that simple, man. Uh Mr. Bob is coming soon. Uh, to be honest, I ain't got nothing in the future right now. I'm just dropping shit, man. I'm back to back. I'm consistent. Consistent come with consistency is the fucking key. And uh, sooner or later they gonna understand that niggas hating. I understand that that's cool. Uh, just stay consistent, man. I mean that's all I really can say. I'm gonna stay consistent, y'all. Y'all gonna just expect something. That's all I can really tell you. All right. Um, one of these last questions. How's life being raised and being from the east side of Decatur? Shit, the east side where I was raised, man. Uh, east side stand up, man. All the way up. Stand the fuck up, man. Uh, respect northwest, southwest, all that shit. You feel me? Uh, but a lot of folks sleep on the east side, man. We, You feel me? Basically, we was an organization. When you think about it, man, growing up, like, shout out to T3. Shout out to John, uh, Johnny Boy. Herman. Goddamn, uh... Everybody on East Lake of Projects, man. Shit. Uh, we sell soap is drop, man. Like, Rick and Will Crib jumping. You feel me? Me and Fat Daddy. Shout out to Fat Daddy, man. We were kids, nigga, in the trap house. Looking at people in our windows, nigga. Watching for the foe. As soon as we leave that bitch, it get busted and burnt down, nigga. I mean, it's just, you feel me? I mean, the East Side is the stomping ground, but it's, it's hot as a motherfucker. So you better be ready. If you, I hope you got your shoes scrapped up. I don't wear Reeboks for no fucking reason. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you, man. 
Um, before we get out of here, man, you know, I'm going to let you go and get your shout outs in, you know. So shout out to people that you, you know, you love and care about. Yeah, I do this. I am. Shit. I give a shout out. First of all, got the shout out to my mama. Second of all, I got the shout out to the Lord. Mama brought me here. The Lord blessed me in so many ways, man. I, I, I can't even thank him enough. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to Mick Free. You feel me? My cousin believed in me before ain't nobody else believed in me. Shout out to Ro. You feel me? One of, I mean, he, he left me hanging for a minute when I first came home, but he, he believed in me too. Shout out to Ken P. He ride with me too. You feel me? Uh, Dizzy Dez, El Capone, Fat Cuz O. You know I've been here since day one. Uh, my, shout out to Kim Freeman, my baby sister that passed away from leukemia. If you ain't nobody know, that's why I struggle the hardest, man. Uh, Jamie Travis, Trap. My little brother got murdered because niggas was hating. It is what it is. Man, shout out to the whole Decatur, whole Alabama, man. We just trying to make a way. I mean, I just wish niggas would come together, man. And let's, let's try to get the fuck away from here instead of put niggas, leave niggas here. Put us in the goddamn dirt and shit. And now we really stuck here. You feel me? time to grow up, man. We got kids out here. I know I do. I got priorities. I don't know about y'all, man. And shout out to Guap, too, man. They put on for the cater. They made the cater what it is, man. Y'all left me hanging. It's all good, though. I still love y'all. Salute y'all, man. It's all good. And that's all I got to say. All right. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming out, man. You already know it. Game ain't the same. Ain't the nigga telling names. So game ain't the same. Ain't the nigga telling names. So game ain't the same. Ain't the nigga telling names. So my partners in the game to my shooters in them chains. I'ma always stay the same. I'ma always stay the same. I'ma always stay the same. I'ma always stay the same.